Hello my soccer universe. Earlier this week I posted a video with jerseys from all the league winners that we had in Europe in the 23-24 season. And let's do the same exercise for the cup winners. Now, of course, there are a few double winners, so there are a few teams in there that uh, you have already seen. And I've tried my best, if I have an alternative, to take, of course, the alternative. However, there are a couple of teams where I cannot do this. One of these teams I'm wearing, which is Sparta Prague, who won the Czech Cup in Pilsen against Pilsen, a 2-1 win and it's of course the 0607 away jersey that I have here and I thought it's a nice jersey to wear the other team that we already have seen and I will double up here you will see a little bit later in this video again I want to go through it by the current UEFA ranking so when right here at the end of the 23-24 season and of course the best league was the Premier League but we're not talking about Premier League, we're talking about the FA Cup and the FA Cup was won by Manchester United in a surprise win, 2-1 over Manchester City, which is kind of weird to say if you would have said this 10 years ago, this is the home jersey from 13-14, back then, yeah, this would have sounded a little bit weird, United, huge club, but we're an outside winner, this jersey here, I absolutely love this jersey, I love it especially because I have the championship uh, patch on here but I think it was a really nice design of course it was a rotten season as every United fan will tell you uh, there's one thing rotten about this jersey is that it has a completely weird name set that I still have to remove eventually I will get to it I'm not sure if I'm gonna replace it or if I'm just gonna uh, leave it then as a blank but it's a really nice United jersey that will go up on the wall Similar to the FA Cup winner, the Coppa Italia winner, Italy is of course next, is a huge team that was a surprise winner. We're talking Juventus 1-0 in the final against Atalanta, this jersey from much better times, this is from the 2003 season, the home jersey, uh, when they won the league in it, they also played in the Champions League final, losing to Milan, that's why this holds a very uh, special uh, value in my collection as a memory of this final, although they had a diff two different sponsor. While you could argue this is not a really pretty Juve jersey. I have to say it, I really liked it because the design is more or less inspired by the old crest by Juve and you see it especially when you see the name set which, all the special names at Del Piero, you see the same band, it says Juventus in the crest, it says here the name. Absolutely awesome jersey, very heavy jersey and for an XL it feels more like a double, double, double XL. So yeah, fits right up there with Manchester United. This pairing up there should give you just by the team's late 90s vibes, I have to say. We're going over to Spain and the Copa del Rey was won by Athletic Club for the first time in 40 years. They win a title again. I don't have the jersey that they won it in, of course. I have none of the jerseys that I have here have won the title. Uh, this is the home jersey from the 2021 season, my only Athletic Club jersey. Athletic Club won against Mallorca on penalties after 1 1. It was, uh, they were the big favorites and they brought it home. They brought out the barge to celebrate with their fans. This jersey here, I have to have to say, um, while not a classic by New Balance, I really like the pattern in there, which is inspired by the Museum of Athletic Club, but I think it gives it a certain cool touch. Um, I would wish I had an name that maybe on the back because this blank back looks kind of weird, but I overall like it. It's not a bad jer jersey, but it's not the best that New Balance or any other one has produced, but it's my Athletic Club jersey. First double winner. It's of course Bayer Leverkusen, they won the DFP Pokal in a 1-0 against uh, Kaiserslautern. Was maybe tighter than it should have been, but you know, a brilliant Granit Xhaka goal. This jersey is from a little bit sooner, this is from the 1920 season, the home jersey. And I like Leverkusen actually in red, a little bit better than in black. I decided let's take, take, take the red jersey here, although, you know, doubling up here with uh, Manchester United in red as well, but hey, so be it. I actually, this is my first ever Leverkusen jersey, and I have to say, Jako gives me the retro feels here with the diagonal shadow striping. I also think the crest, there is uh, a lot of uh, production value on this one as well. If you see, there's a little bit of a pattern in there. Uh, on the back, of course, it says Werkself. It's a blank, but it's a quite nice Leverkusen jersey. I gotta say, classic, red, a little bit of black, club's colors, and full color logo. That's what I wanted to have. 
In France, we have the next double winner in PSG and I showed a 1920 home jersey. This time I want to go retro. That's a 95-96 home jersey. Still my favorite PSG jersey uh, ever. They won the Cup Winners Cup in that one against Rapid Vienna. They did not have to sponsor back then, but this is a really cool shirt. I have to say you see the old style logo here, the old style um, Nike logo. It's that's the PSG design that I actually like that they have the royal blue as well. You have here the logo from the Ile de France region and the PSG logo that was actually in use for quite a while back then. Uh, the color maybe could use a little bit of white as well, but I really love it. And then there is a pattern in there that I hold it up to, to, to the camera. You see a little bit of PSG logo as well and so on. It's classic 90s, an absolute beauty, beautiful shirt. Love that one to bits. The Dutch Cup, the KNVB Baker, was won by defending league champions Feyenoord. They switched the titles because PSV were defending cup champions, they won the title. Uh, this is now my go-to Feyenoord jersey, Adidas won from uh, the 2021 season. Um, I actually quite like this one. I mean, it's a classic half a Feyenoord design. Uh, the sponsor, yeah, I would have liked one of the with the Europark sponsor from Adidas, especially the one that won the title, but even the one before where they reached the Conference League final. Uh, but I have to say, the cool thing about this one is the way that the back looks. You know, you have, it's not raglan sleeves, but here it looks like raglan sleeves and it goes over. This was kind of Adidas copying what Nike did with a weird template before. But I have to have to say it kind of looks cool here. I have to say also this Feyenoord Rotterdam and has a very white collar. It's a classic Feyenoord jersey. I wouldn't expect much more from a Feyenoord jersey. And Feyenoord jersey and Adidas look better, don't they? The Tossa de Portugal was won not by Sporting, who had the chance for a double, but a red card turned it into Porto's favor and then a Mediterranean penalty won it for Porto who kind of salvaged a really bad season for them. This Porto jersey is one of those where it, to me it doesn't look Porto but it's the only one that I could find so far for a reasonable price as a home, home jersey so I kind of stick with it. I mean there are a few things I really like. I really like that they have all the elements from the crest here on the inside of the collar. I, I like the big crest. I even like the sponsor and, and so I don't mind the darker sleeve because it's just I want to have the stripes less. It should be less than an Ajax feeling. Uh, more a classic Porto feeling. This, this, is, this is the one that bugs me a little bit and yeah maybe a name set on the back would not hurt either. So it's my go-to Porto jersey. Congratulations Porto for winning the Tassa. Uh, I just yeah I will have to get eventually a better one. I, you know one that has slightly thinner straps but not much more Barcelona strapping. You know just have a blue strap a little bit inset and maybe then also striped sleeves. That's what I would like to have from a Porto jersey. Now we're getting to a couple of leagues in the ranking where I don't have a jersey. Belgium, uh, Union saint gilloise won it. Yes, I need an Union saint gilloise jersey sooner or later, especially since they played against last beat Antwerp in the final 1-0. Those would be two teams I would like to add to the collection. In Turkey, similarly, yes, I would like to have kind of the big four and the final was won, the Turkish Cup final, by Besiktas 3-2 over Trabzonspor. This was the uh, most goal-filled final uh, of the teams that I'm out of the countries that I'm looking here. Both teams would be nice in the collection. I just don't have them. And we're already talking about Sparta Praha. So we're going over to Scotland, where this is the other jersey that will double up. Celtic won it with a late goal, 90th minute over Rangers 1 0. I already showed this 06 uh, to 10 home jersey. I like it, but I don't need to talk much more about it. You can watch it in the video for league winners. Next one, in Switzerland, I also will not have the jersey of the cup winner, but the cup winner is to be decided. It's a final that will be played one day after the Champions League final between Servette and Lugano. Don't have either one of these in my collection, will not be young boys. But then we go to Austria, where double winner Sturm Graz. I decided to go also retro, that's the second old of the shirt, with this 98-99 away jersey. Actually Sturm Graz won the Austrian Cup as well, but with the home jersey. Unfortunately, I guess Lask in a penalty shootout. Ah. Yeah, I was there, was not pretty. In any any case, uh, this jersey, I wanted to get uh, the past season a dark Sturm Graz jersey. This looked black to me with a little bit blue. 
Then I look at it and yes, it is actually a very, very dark blue. It's a very basic jersey. Uh, you know, all the logos here are printed, which was a little bit disappointing to be honest, but then the jersey was relatively cheap to get. Uh, I really doubt that it's a knockoff. Uh, it seems like a legit jer uh, jersey, but just a cheap version. Since Sturm Graz have been playing with blue jerseys because of their sponsor Puntigam, and that's why this is kind of bluish, it's sponsor colored, typically Austria, yes. Uh, I think it's fine. It's a blank on the back and this is from really the first glory period of Sturm Graz. I think overall it's a pleasing jersey. The logo is a little bit off. This was the 90s logo that they had. But yeah, Sturm Graz, congratulations on winning the Austrian double. I'm gonna go as far in this video as I went for last time. So we go all the way to Greece, but before that, Norway. Yes, this is, you know, in the Kalahina year, the 23 Cup winner in Norway was molded with a 1-0 win over Bode. Not too surprising, I would say. And in Denmark, Silkeborg won it 1 0 over AGF, I think it's Aarhus. Uh, also, don't have these. I will not likely get any of these teams. So, we go to Greece. And who are the Greek Group Cup winners? It's Panathinaikos in a relatively ugly final. They win it very, very late, I think 97th minute over Aris, kind of salvaging their season as well. This Panathinaikos shirt is a special one to me uh, because I told the story before my father was in 2000 in Athens. He brought three fakes home from all of the three big teams. The team, the team that ended up being with me is Panathinaikos and I had this a long time. And when I got rid of my fakes, I got rid of that Panathinaikos shirt, but always hoping that I can find a replacement. I never thought that it would be possible. Uh, for once, I'm, for, I'm happy for Rapid fans because Rapid have a really close connection to Panathinaikos. And so this one popped up on Will Hub and I bought it for 15 bucks. Uh, same sponsorless version that I had before, but with long sleeves. It's a really cool shirt, I gotta, I, I gotta say. Despite the Rapid connection, I'm very pleased to have it. It has the same design, of course, as the France 2000 jersey. Eagle Eyes viewers would have realized that I kept these two spots here empty. Um, I have 11. I do not have from any other leagues except Bulgaria. I have a Levski shirt, but Levski did not win the Bulgarian Cup. That was actually, I think, both of Plovdiv for once. But I left these two slots here open. And I want to actually add this for the Europa Conference League winner and for the Europa League winner as well. Uh, staying in Greece, the Conference League, I'm shooting this video on the day after Olympiakos became the first Greek team to uh, win a European title. As a long history for me getting this jersey, the 17-18 home jersey, they beat Fiorentina 1-0. I wanted really Fiorentina to win, but hey. Olympiakos. It is, um, and yeah, it actually showed the way the teams from smaller leagues, I don't want to call the Greek League a small league, really can also win a European trophy. So this Olympiakos jersey also goes up on the wall. Which leaves us with the Europa League winner, Atalanta. What a final performance that was. Finally, they win a title in the Gasparini era. I have this 1920 a European home jersey where they made this deep run in the Champions League, only being out of a PSG in the last minute. Chupomoting. It was, this was Atalanta more or less at its best. I love this uh, jersey. I love that in Europe they have the crest here and not on the, on the center and usually have a sponsor. Um, I love that I have it without sponsor, which also looks quite nice. And the other thing that is really uh, interesting is why it's vertically striped. There's a, a horizontal shadow pattern, which gives the blue stripes a certain structure that is really cool. Love the color and Another really cool thing that Homer did, did here, the stripe here on the sleeves, and I love my striped sleeves, should be like that, but there's a connection, haha, <laughs> see, passes over, there's a patch here that goes straight into the stripe on the, on the sleeves, it's a blank, that's a beautiful jersey of a really great team from a small city, so I want to keep a special spot here for Atalanta as well. Now. There's one more big cup final to be decided and as this post on the day of the Champions League final I of course don't know yet who is gonna win the Champions League but I have jerseys from the two finalists here. We have this Dortmund jersey from the 03-04 season I think very classic looking Dortmund jersey and we have the Real Madrid jersey from the centenary season in uh, 01-02 so this was worn in 02 which is basically as everything that a Real Madrid jersey should do. Either one of these two will win the Champions League. I guess it will be these guys again. 
but there's no space on the wall for them. So there you go, 13 cup winners, uh, including two European cup winners uh, from my collection. Yeah, few with double, Sparta, Celtic and, and so on. But I think for the others I could vary it up a little bit, although I'm a bit bothered by the two red jerseys here next to each other. Yeah, so be it. In any case, let me know how you like these jerseys. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon about more things in my collection and in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.